Hello, my name is Ran and this is Itai. We are Krav Maga instructors. Krav Maga is the Israeli system of self-defense. In Krav Maga, we have only one, one rule, stay alive. In those short videos, we're going to show you how to defend yourself in a real situation, life and death situation. Next strike is the vertical hammer strike. Ah! Ah! All right, a hammer strike is a very, very different strike. It's a very common strike in Krav Maga. You don't see it in many other places. The hammer strike I'm actually going to hit with this part of my fist. We call it a hammer strike because it's like I'm doing a hammer and banging on the table. This is the hammer strike. I'm going to hit with this part of my fist. It's actually a little bit safer than doing the other stuff. If you hit like this on the wall, nothing going to happen to your hand. But if you're going to fist it through a wall, you might just going to damage your knuckles. The hammer strike that we're talking now is a vertical hammer strike. We're going to aim it to a very specific place in my opponent's body. Run, please. Once my opponent bent over from a groin kick or from a knee strike, I, he, he's exposing one main weak point, which will be the back of the neck. I'm going to aim my hammer strike to the back of his neck. I'm just going to take my hand up and I'm going to strike the back of the neck. A little bit about the technical part of the strike. I'm gonna raise my hand high, a little bit above my head area. The thumb's gonna face down before I'm doing the strike. The other hand, even though it's bent over, even though you feel safe, always guard your face. This is a habit you should have always. From this position, you're gonna twist the fist down, so this time the thumb's gonna be up, and I'm gonna throw a strong hammer fist down. I'm also gonna use my body here, I'm going to go with my entire body down. I don't want to have only my hand as a power. I want to have my entire body as a power for the strike. So again, I'm going to raise my hand up and I'm going to go down with the strike to the back of the neck. I'm not going to hit him on the back of the head and I'm not going to open my hand. I don't want to break my hand on his head, right? This is the vertical hammer strike to the back of the neck of my opponent. Now I'm going to mix everything together for one combination. In Krav Maga, like we said in chapter number one, there's a system, it's not martial art. We have only one combination that I'm going to react from all direction. In a real situation, life and death situation, in my point of view, it's war. I cannot remember a lot of techniques. Okay, I need one combination that stays in the back of my head in a real life and death situation to react. That's it. Only two weak points. In a real situation where somebody attacked me, okay, we, and we start the attacking from this kinds of range, I want to use my longest attack that I can use, meaning kick to the groin. In a real situation, I want to go forward. I saw a lot of situations somebody did only one attack, and then from here the situation become only worse. The attacker take the knife out. Remember, we are normal people. We are not attacking other people. If I I see myself in a situation that I need to kick somebody to the groin, it's war. In war, I'm going all the way, meaning the attacker is on the ground. After kick between the legs, I want to go forward. Straight punch, straight punch. This is the middle. Now let's go closer. Hook, elbow, go back, hold them. Knee to the groin for the body position and finish it. Boom, I'm a punch to the back of the head. Other side. From this range, go to the groin, straight punch, straight punch, this is the middle, center, up, inside, knee, back of the head, 